Hello, class. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? <clears throat> we are ready. Okay, I'm ready too. Just give me one second. I'm trying to fix something in here. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay, class. Monday. This is the first class for week number four. Remember that we are about to finish with this. With this course, we are just missing four classes, you know? And we still have section number five. And in this week, we are going to cover the topics from section number five. It's a very similar topic. You know, we are going to be combining all of the previous topics and making a presentation in this class, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Ellen Nilsson. Hi, teacher. Hi, How are teacher. you today? Ladies first. Okay, excellent. What a gentleman. Okay. You know, just try. In this moment, it is started raining in here. You know, it is raining. So I was wishing not to because of the internet connection. Sometimes it is not uh, that good if it is start raining, you know. But I really hope not to have any situations, you know, with the internet connection. Pero que el internet no nos falle. If not, Espérenme, ¿ok? Yo regreso, aunque sea con los datos de mi teléfono, pero regreso. Así que si llega a fallar, mejor desde ya les digo, ¿ok? Eh, bien. It's raining. Eh, yes, it is. By uh, Escalón. Yeah. Neighborhood. <laughs> it is raining, you know. Um, now I can see. Just let me say hi to Lupita. I know she has been in a very hard process. Maybe she's not feeling that well today, uh, but I'm really happy to have you here. And don't worry, Lupita, uh, you can stay there, okay? Just listening to the class. And if you have questions, don't worry, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here to help you and even your classmates. Entonces estamos para ayudarle a Lupita, cualquier consulta o los ejercicios tal vez de la plataforma. Eh, entre todos podemos ayudarnos, okay? Yes. Yes, right. Entendemos que es difícil después de un proceso de recuperación eh, volver a clases. But don't worry. We're really happy to have you here. It's really nice to see you, Lupita. No se preocupe, ¿ok? Cualquier cosa le podemos ayudar y ahí estamos. Puede estar como oyente, no hay problema, ¿ok? Don't worry. <laughs> Samuel está levantando la mano ahí. Sammy, where is it? But I cannot see him. To understand, I cannot see Gustavo, Josué, Samuel, Elenil. So, ah, there you are. Yes, Samuel. <laughs> he, went, he went to the umbrella for. <laughs> okay. So you see, uh, last week, last Thursday, um, we were with the last topic from section number four. What was the topic about? Do you remember? What was the topic from section number four? The last topic or the last activity that we were practicing on Thursday. You don't como remember? Poner, mm -hmm. como poner excusas politamente. Okay. <laughs> Diplomáticamente. <Maybe>, okay, <laughs> let's call it in this way. No poner excusas tal vez how to accept or refuse accept. invitation. Okay. Uh -huh. Aceptar or no aceptar invitation. 
Would you like to? Would you like to? That was the beginning of the question or the invitation. Would you like to come with me to a party? Yes. No. It depends on your response, right? Esa fue la actividad previa a finalizar la semana. Bueno, la sección número cuatro, section number four. In today's class, as I mentioned before, we are going to start with section number five. And the main topic about section number five is about family. I guess we know some vocabulary about family. We have an idea or we already know how to talk about members of the family. So the name of section number five is tell me about your family. Tell me about your family. In today's class, we are going to review vocabulary, expressions and questions in order to talk about our family. You are going to be talking and discussing about families in this week. This is class number 13. We are about to move to the next level. You know, I'm really happy because you're being doing a great job. And let me ask you, before we continue, uh, did you finish with the activities from the platform, the exercises from section number four? Or do you still have maybe comments or questions about section number four? ¿Cómo estamos con la section number four? Section cuatro? Are we good? Do we still have comments, questions about those topics? Yes, Ed Nielsen. Let me listen to you. All clear? Está todo claro de la section number four? Yes, no? In my case, yes. Okay. ¿Cómo sentimos el tema de aceptando invitaciones y no? Is it difficult? O podemos mover ya a la section number five, because that is the last section from the pre-intermediate one course. If not, let's go. Bueno, aquí está, in section number five, this is the last one. In this section, we have activities and also the final exam. So probably on Thursday, we're going to do the final review from all of the topics that we have been talking about. If you see, the main topic about this section is about family. Vamos a ver qué tenemos. Wow, it's raining. Very heavy here. Bien clase. Miren, the first video that we have, this is just a conversation, but do not worry. We are going to have as well, some vocabulary. I know you can help me out with this vocabulary. So let's see what we can find out about this one. Section number five. The first activity. Before we watch this video, I want to ask you, which family members vocabulary do you already know? ¿Qué vocabulario saben? Members of the family. Antes que veamos el video. ¿Quiénes se saben? ¿Cuáles son los miembros de la familia? In English, of course. Yes. Grandpa. Excellent. Cousin. Cousin. Niece. Nephew. 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 Stepfather. Stepmother. Stepdad, stepmom, very good. Brother in love. Okay, brother and sister in love. Brother, sister, sister mom, sister, dad. Sister, brother, mother, mom, mm -hmm. daddy. Cousin. 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 Mm -hmm. Cousin. Cousin. Uncle. 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 Yes. And we are still missing, you know, we have a lot of vocabulary. But don't worry. Let's listen to this conversation. This is a, a conversation. 
and they are talking and discussing about members of the family. Let's listen and find out what is the conversation about. What does she do? I'm not sure. She. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And, and your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31, Exercise 3, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Okay, before we move on and we listen to the rest of the conversation, tell me out who is on the phone right now? Who is that girl on the phone? The one who is walking by? Who is this lady, this girl? What's her name? Is it Rita or Sue? What's her mm -hmm. name? Sue. Sue. How many brothers or sisters does she have? How many brothers or sisters does she one have? Brother. One brother and one sister. One brother, one sister. One yeah. brother and one sister. Can you give me more information about her sister? What can you tell me uh, about her sister? Uh, your sister worked in the government. My sister the, or her sister? Her sister. Excellent. Work in secret for in the, the government. And his brother uh, for um, we we like photography. Miss, I don't understand the word with life. With life. Wildlife photographer. Wildlife. Uh -huh. This Wildlife one. Photographer. Yes. Okay, uh, who has an idea about what is this? occupation or job about? What is a wildlife photographer? What comes to your mind when we say wild? What is the meaning of that word in English? Photo photographer aficionado? Uh, not really, no. Wild, what is this about wild? Ah, okay. <clears throat> Maybe it has to be with nature, but when he says about this one, he's talking about this type of animals. For example, lions. Can you mention any other wild animal? Zebras. You know, elephants. Elephants. Tiger, giraffe. Tiger, giraffe, right? Those type of animals that they are not domestic. On the other hand, they live in the wildness. Viven como en la selva, y por eso lo llamamos wild, because we cannot domesticate those animals. So he is the, uh, that type of photographer. He is taking pictures of wild animals. For example, uh, the ones who work in Nat Geo, National Geographic, we can call them wildlife photographers. So yes, interesting jobs, of course. Very good job. And if you see, we have some extra information about this lady's brother. You know, he's not in the United States right now because he's traveling in the Amazon. Wow, that is interesting. Bien, clase. ¿Qué más puedo preguntarle de esa conversación? We have two expressions to ask about information. 
¿Qué expresiones identifican para preguntar información? We have two expressions in this conversation. Number one is. This tell me one. about. Mm -hmm. Tell me about. Give me more information. Tell me about your mom. Tell me about your sister. Tell me about your family. And the second one, which other expression can you recognize in order to ask for more information? What we, does she do? There we go. Look. What about, what about your hair? Tell me about your brother. What about your brother? What about your sister? What about your wife? What about your grandpa? And then we have compliments or comments. This type of expressions are used in order to express that we are paying attention about people's information and that we care about people's information. Recuerden, es una conversación y para que fluya normal, tenemos que ser empáticos, ¿ok? Me están contando de su familia. No voy a decir solo, ah, oh, ok, yes, no, yeah. Debemos también comentarios. What an interesting family. Oh, I love your family. I like your family. Tell me more about your family. So, vamos a hacer esta eh, práctica ahora también. But let's listen. Tell me about your brother and sisters to the end of the conversation. Veamos cómo termina la conversación. Here we go. Hey, listen and practice. Photographer. Okay. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31, exercise 3, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, could you identify the information? Let me ask you, what is the meaning of parents in English? What is that in English? Parents. Gabby, do you know the meaning of parents? This one. ¿Qué es esto? This is equals to? Mothers and father. Ajá, uh -huh. mom plus mom, dad. or mother plus father or mom plus dad equals to parents, papás, ¿ok? Please do not confuse this with parientes. Algunos lo confunden, parientes, but no. Actually, this is mom and dad. Where do they live? Could you identify the information? Where do Rita's parents live? Austin, Texas. Austin? Texas. Texas. Okay, very good. Is it, and, is it small? It's a very small? Yeah. Country or city? What were they mentioning? Uh, city. Okay. Ivania, what do they do? What do Rita's parents do? Because they have an actual job, what do they do? I don't listen this part. Okay, don't worry, we can repeat that information. So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Okay, Are here they we go. still working? Oh yes, my mother is teaching at the university there, Okay, what does she do? My mother is... Is teacher in she the university. I okay. 
eh, si no me equivoco, también se puede decir como profesor, algo así. Mm, yes. Cuando es en la universidad. Exactly. That's right. Mm. What is the difference between professor and teacher? There you have the answer. Teacher, uh, uh -huh. tell me, Vanessa. Teacher is cualquier profesor, pero profesor is en la universidad nada más. Muy bien. ¿Y sabe la diferencia de college and university? Who can tell me? Veamos. Ya que estamos hablando de universidades. College and college, university. Okay. Not really. Mm -mm. That is high school. What is college and what is university? No, not now. I don't know. No, okay. Any idea? Let me listen to you. Okay, college también es educación superior, superior level, pero college. We call them to those places in which they offer technical, technical careers. For example, here in El Salvador, we have a lot of college. ITCA, it's a great example of a college. Estudios universitarios o superiores, llamémosles, pero son técnicos. A veces duran dos años, tres años, lo más. So, superior level. Pero son técnicos. Pueden darme otro ejemplo de college in El Salvador. ¿Qué otro tenemos? ITCA, se los mencioné. Carreras técnicas. ¿Qué otro? In Safor. Pero, no. ¿será que aquí solo tenemos Recaldones. cursos o tenemos carreras en sí? Instituto Técnico Ricardo Don Bosco. La UCA. Ajá, es verdad, UCA. Don Bosco La UCA también. tiene, ajá. ajá. Y las universities eh, son más que todo carreras que duran cinco años, ocho años más. No son como técnicos. No hay como la opción de salir antes. Y algunos que pueden ser una mezcla de ambos. Sí, sure. Uh -huh. La mega La mega también. Exactly. University también es superior level. Y es, pongámosle ambos, técnicos y carreras completas. So that is exactly. Entonces, ahora podemos distinguir quién es un profesor. ¿Y quién es un teacher? Right? Professor is for a superior level or university. And teacher, we can call them to elementary school, to high school teachers. So those are teachers, you know? And it can be from any subject. Cualquier materia, no importa una materia eh, en sí específica. Le llamamos teacher. A cualquiera que nos esté enseñando algo también. Teacher. He is my teacher. You know? Miss. Yes. Podría ser eh, profesor si es del college. No. Sí, también. Sí, también. Sí. Profesor. Ah, okay. Yes, of course. Okay. Gracias. Así que pueden llamarles profesor. Eh, Mister también algunos. Señor le llaman. Señora. Mister, Mrs. And then the last name. It is up to you, you know? Or it depends on formality. Más que todo formalidad. But don't worry. Una consulta más. Don't worry, go ahead. No, don't say sorry. Eh, we like questions. Cuando, digamos, si estuviéramos en Estados Unidos, uh -huh. es normal decirle, así como aquí, profesora o profesor. O sea, pero en ese caso, teacher, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. O, o solamente como Miss, porque he escuchado que no es correcto decirle teacher. Exacto. No sé. They don't like it, you know. They don't really like it. Para algunos eh, es ofensa, ¿saben? Para algunos. Yo creo que es depende de la cultura, pero sí, casi siempre he escuchado profesor, 
y el apellido, o Mr. y Mrs. Depende de, de grado de, pero sí, para universidades siempre he escuchado profesor. Ok, pero sí, teacher es como una ofensa para ellos. Teacher, you know. Even though it's a, like a synonym or the same eh, activities that they develop, but they don't like it. No les gusta que le llamen teacher. ¿Saben? But it depends on people, you know. Creo que depende también de, de cada quien. Por ejemplo, en mi caso, a mí no... No sé, no me gusta que me digan licenciada. It's, it's weird, es, es algo raro, you know? Pero depende. It depends on people. Pero sí, Ivania, más que todo es profesor. Para los niveles superiores. Profesor, ¿ok? So you see? No, pero aparte de eso, eh, mi pregunta es, por ejemplo, a usted, ¿es mm -hmm. correcto que le digamos teacher? ¿O deberíamos de decirle miss? Ambas, está correcto, ambas. Ambos está correcto, no hay problema. Igual ya he dado okay. clases en la universidad y igual me seguían llamando teacher. Para mí no era como algo que, que estuviera malo o mal pronunciado. Creo que depende de la persona, por eso les digo. Así que sí, that's okay, Joanny. Muy bien, estábamos hablando de University hey, of you. Texas. You're welcome. Eso hace la mamá de Rita. Veamos qué es el papá. And Do my here. father is a carpenter. And my father is, what did she make? Carpenter. Carpenter, you know? Carpenter. Carpenter, exactly. Information about Rita's brother and sister, and at the end of the conversation about her parents, you know? Let's find out about vocabulary. Vamos a ver el vocabulario que tenemos. Aquí está. Asking about families. These are uh, examples about members of the family, you know, in different ways of calling members of the family. Look, the first one that we have, it's mother or mother. Mom. mom. Mother or mom. They refer to the same person. Igual, depende de, creo que la formalidad también para llamarle. Because in your case, ¿cómo le llaman ustedes? She is my mother or she is my mom. Madre o mamá. ¿Cómo le llamaríamos? Mother or mom. Mom. Mom, right? Because in my case, I do the same. I refer to her as my mom. Mi mamá, digo yo. Es mi madre, dicen algunos. Mi padre. But it depends on you. No? Formal and less formal expression. Mother and mom. And then we have father and, and dad. That is right here. Father and dad. Padre y papá. Padre y papá. Excellent. Now we have these ones. Do you know the meaning of this? Mother-in-law and father-in-law. ¿Quiénes son ellos? Mother-in-law, father-in-law. Suegro. ¿Hm? Suegro y... Y suegra. Y suegra. ¿Y quiénes son ellos entonces? Sister-in-law and brother-in-law. Who are they? Cuñada y cuñado. Cuñado y cuñada. If you see, the correct way of writing it is by dividing the expression in three parts. Dividimos en tres partes. Okay, separando con los guiones. Okay. Lashes, mother-in-law, father-in-law, sister-in-law, and brother-in-law. Muy bien. After that, what we have? ¿Qué sigue después? Partner. Podemos referirnos a? Eh, to a girl, to a boy, to a man, to women, you know, as my partner. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia entonces entre partner 
and husband and wife. What is the difference? Piensen, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Partner, husband and wife. Any idea? No están casados. <laughs> no sé. Yes, you know, that's correct. Eso es lo que esperaba escuchar. Cuando no están casados, ¿cómo lo llamamos? Rejuntado. Rejuntado. <laughs> But that is Spanish. Pareja, Any in English? Ajá. Uh -huh. Marinovio. Marinovio, dicen. Rejuntado. You know, en español se escucha bien raro, ¿verdad? En inglés. Oh, partner. She is my partner. Or he is my partner. This can be for girls and for boys as well. Mi pareja, exacto. Y si están casados, obviamente, si hay una categoría husband and wife. Ahí no hay donde perderse. Okay? Very good job. Now we have this one. Esta la acabamos de ver. ¿Qué es esto? Parent. Es padres. Ajá. Siempre va en plural. Aquí está en singular, pero sí es parents, dad and mom. Together, we have, as a result, parent, parent, okay? Mi papás, parents. And after that, we have children. ¿Y esto qué sería? ¿Qué categoría es esta? Children. ¿Qué abarca esta? Children. Hijos. Hijos. Ah, okay, so it can be only girls, only boys, or we can also have boys and girls in the same category. They are my children. Ellos son mis hijos. Y podemos abarcar ambos, hijos e hijas. That's it. Very good. Uncle, niece, and nephew. What is the meaning of uncle? What is that, uncle? I didn't get it. What is uncle? What is the meaning of niece? And what is nephew? Tío, sobrina, sobrino. ¿Quién es el tío? Uncle. Okay. Uncle. Y luego sobrino, sobrina. Entonces, como digo tía, how do we say tía in English? Aunt. Ajá, it's right here. Está justo acá. Ahora sí tenemos toda la categoría. Uncle, aunt, niece, nephew. Very good job. Grandson, granddaughter, grandchild. Ok, differences. ¿Cómo distingo esto? ¿Quién es quién? Vamos, let me listen to you. Who is the grandson? Who is a granddaughter? And who is the grandchild? Grandson, nieto. And granddaughter? Nieta. Nieta, Nieta and grandchild? Nietos. Are you sure? Será que son nietos? Grandchild? Nietecita. Nietecitos. No. <laughs> No, no, not really, no, son nietecitos. ¿Y esta cuál es entonces? Grand. Children. Singular, plural, acuérdense. Grandchild is only one. Entonces, cuando me refiero, oh, he is my grandchild. She is my grandchild. Es simplemente la categoría yeah. para singular. Nieto también. Nieto, solo que. No estoy siendo específico. And grandchildren. <laughs> okay. Maybe, right? We don't know. And grandchildren, this is like more than one. Aquí es la categoría en plural. Singular, plural. That's it. Esa es la diferencia. Okay. No es nietecito. Y qué más tenemos? Let me see. Husband, wives. Look at this one. Ahora ya incluyen este. Wow. Imagine. He is as a member of the family, he or she, member of the family, my ex, you know. I wouldn't include 
this category, but you know, this is in the list that I found. X. Ya está aquí en la. Shakira Six. You know, X. Uh -huh. Es parte de la familia, dicen. I don't know. X. ¿Qué más? This is easy to distinguish, I guess. Son and daughter. Sister and brother. There's no way of confusion here. Son, hijo, daughter, hija, sister and brother. Hermana, hermano. Very good. ¿Cómo es la categoría entonces para llamar a mi hermano y a mi hermana? Niño y niña. ¿Cuál es la categoría entonces? Who knows? ¿Mm? Si para mamá y papá es parents, hermano. ¿cómo será para hermano más hermana? O hermanos más hermanas. Do you know? Brother. No. Miren, siblings. Mm. Esta categoría abarca a ambos. Mi hermano más mi hermana. Siblings, they are my siblings. Así se le llama. Mis hermanos, mis hermanas, siblings. Esa es la categoría. Very good job. Y tenemos grandmother, grandfather, and grandparent as well. My grandparents, abuelos, abuelas. Grandmother, we are being specific. And grandfather, we are being specific that we are talking about a man. And at the end, we have some extra vocabulary like this one. Stepmother and stepfather. ¿Quiénes son ellos? Stepmother and stepfather. Who are they? Madrastra y padrastro. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y entonces, ¿cómo se dice hijastro en hijastra en inglés? ¿Alguna idea? Stepmother, of step course. Son. Ah, okay. Step son. Stepdaughter. Stepson and stepdaughter. There we go. Muy bien. Esa es la categoría para, eh, bueno, o mejor dicho, la traducción para hijastro en hijastra, step. Daughter, step, son. No será falta alguno por acá. O alguno que no hayan visto y que quieran agregar. Which ones or which one are we missing? Because we have Como a lot of dice Mi bisabuelo. Ok. Bisabuelo. ¿Cómo traducimos bisabuelo? Miren. Se utiliza esta expresión más le agregamos al inicio la palabra great. Entonces queda como great grand father. Eso es bisabuelo. Bisabuela. Great grand mother. Bisabuela. ¿Y cómo sería bisnieto, bisnieta? How do we make that word in English? Bisnieto, bisnieta. Great. Great grandson. Grandson and great. Granddaughter. Así se combinaría también. Agregándole great al inicio. ¿Y cómo digo tataranietos, tatarabuelo? También existe. How do we say that? ¿Alguna idea? Great, great father. Yes, that's it. Le agregamos aquí al inicio. Otra vez, great. Great, great. You see? Así se van formando las palabras. But now, miren esta imagen entonces. Look at this information that we have here. And I need you to do something specific. We are going to work in groups. And with all of this vocabulary, con todo este vocabulario, I need you to identify. Quiero que me identifiquen tres categorías. 
Number one, men in your family, women in the family, and children. Bueno, no, solo pongamos dos categorías. Después le digo la tercera. ¿Quiénes son los hombres en la familia y quiénes son las mujeres en la familia? Men in the family, women in the family. Tomen todo este vocabulario y vamos a poner esas dos categorías. Mujeres y hombres. Y lo digo después por qué, ¿ok? Les envío esto ahorita. Let me send you this information right now. Mujeres y hombres en la familia. Here we go. Ok. Is it clear what you're going to do? ¿Está claro lo que van a hacer? Yes, no? Yes, yes. It's quite easy, you know? This is in order for you to discuss, pronounce, and also working groups. Here we go. Ahorita se los envío. Let's go and work. Okay. Okay, is it clear the activity, Gaby and Alberto? What are you going to do? Teacher, me escucho. Yes, I can. Es que no puedo escuchar a Alberto. No yeah, sé si I usted... cannot, no, I can... Hola, hola. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Yes, now we can. Okay. Vaya, comencemos entonces. Este sería. Vaya, ahí está. Ok. Sería entonces distribuir, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vaya, uno a uno, si quiere. Yo voy a agarrar el primero. Uh -huh. Mother, madre. En um, the same. Mm -hmm. In the same. The, in, the, in the misma fila. Right. Mom. Father. Father. Mother de la mente. Next. Father in love. Father in the. Father. Eh, partner. Puede ser ambos. Partner, ajá, son ambos. Dad. Vaya. Children eh, is the both. Eh, uncle. Parents. The category man. Eh, Children say, Woman, Father, Man, Man, Woman, Woman. Man. Man. Partner, woman and men. Woman. 
Es ok. Dad, men. Ajá, ahora. Da. Men. Roman and men. Yes. Children, women, and men. Porque son niños, ¿verdad? Yes. Women. Men. Uncle Steve, men. Niece. Sobrina. Men. Nice. Teacher. What? Is the pronunciation nice? Nice. 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 Okay, nice. One. Nephew. Man. Ah, okay. Nephew. Man. Grandson. Man. Granddaughter, woman. Children. Grandchild. 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 Woman and, and man. Woman. Hello, teacher. Cousin. Cousin sería como para primo y para prima. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sí, ¿verdad? Both. Yeah, both. Yeah. Both. Ok. Uh -huh. And the other one. Yeah. Wife. Van las mujeres. Ex va parte porque puede ser bo. Mm -hmm. Son. Hombre. Daughter. Mujer. Brother. Hombre. Grandmother. Mujer. Y grandfather. Grandparent. Grandparent. Abuelos. Both teacher, grandparent. You finish. Me salieron varones, me salieron que ven. Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis. Teacher, parents, ¿en cuál entraría? Parents, pueden ponerlo en ambos. Papá y mamá. En ambos. 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 Daughter, sister, mother, grandparent, mm -hmm. sister, love, stepmother, 16. Okay. ¿Cuánto le dieron? 16 me salen. Women, ajá. Uh -huh. Father, men, men. No, a mí en varones 16. Ay, a mí varones me salen 17. Father, father in law. Y niñas 12. Uh,
Hi, teacher. Hello, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. How I many think... from each did you find? How many for women? How many for men did you find in the list? Uh, 20. 20 and uh, 20. 20, 20, uh-huh. Okay. Uh, quiero ver. Vamos a ver si coincidimos. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. How about for both? Ambos. Yes. Ambos. Yeah. Let me see. Now let's wait for your classmates. Okay, there they come. Now, let me see if I have the same information as you or if the groups have the same information because I was listening to some of the groups who had around 16 for men and 16 for women. And there are some groups who are telling me that they have 20 for each group. Let's compare the information. Let me have some volunteers. I need at least two volunteers, not three volunteers. Who can help me to complete the information for men, the other one for women, and the other one for both. Three volunteers and that's it. If you see in this class, we have been just presenting vocabulary. Tomorrow we are going to have the practice in which you are going to tell me about your family. You are going to prepare and present a mini presentation about your family tomorrow, okay? That is going to be the first and the only activity for tomorrow's classes. Let's see, as I don't have volunteers, I'm going to pick some of you. Rita, help me out, please. Who are the men in the family? Men, that's it, men. Father. Father-in-law, okay. Partners in children. Okay. Um, un uncle, nephew, grandson, cousin, husband, daughter, son, no, son, son. Okay, and... son. Brother, grandfather, brother in love. Okay. Stepson, stepfather, great grandfather. And great grandfather, okay. Do you have the same information, class, or do you disagree with any of the ones that she mentioned? Okay. <laughs> I have the same. But you have the same information. But we have uh -huh. three, six, eight, uh, eight words that are for both. Exactly. That's what I was listening. That Rita, she was combining men and the category that we use for both. Hay una categoría extra que le salió a todos. Ambos. Por ejemplo, grandparents. Eso es para mujer y hombre ambas. But don't worry. That's okay, Rita. Yes. Let okay. me see, Jorge. What do you have for women? Women in the family. Please, let me listen to you. Only women. Only women. Mother, mother in law. Uh, niece. Okay. Granddaughter. Aunt. Wife. Daughter. Sister. Grandmother. Okay. Sister in law. And a stepmother. And a stepmother. Do you agree with the information that he gave us or do you have a different one? The rest of the class. 
I guess you have the same information, right? He include all of the members of the family referring to women. Very good. Let's see, what do you have in both? Carlos, ambos, both. ¿Qué categorías le salieron? Ahí son menos, of course. Both. ¿Qué tenemos en ambos, Carlos? En uh, ambos, I remember parents. Ok. Uh, parents, children, yeah, and children. parents. Children, cousins. Ok. Cousins. Cousins. In ex. Uh, only? Only? Parents. Parents. That's it. Good. Do you have any other one class or do you agree with all the information that he presented? Tienen la misma categoría? Yes or no? Solo veo que hacen esto. No sé si es un sí o un no. Say yes, say no, teacher. Yes. <laughs> okay. Come on, class. So how many words do we have in the vocabulary for today? ¿Cuántas nos aprendimos? ¿Cuántas podemos distinguir ya? Look, we have a lot of information. This is just vocabulary. ¿Alguna que les cueste pronunciar? Or is, is it the pronunciation clear as well? I guess it's clear, right? Okay, ¿cuál era la idea de, en este caso, categorías, mujer y hombre? Porque muchas veces eh, se confunden. Hay palabras que no sé si es para niño, niña, hombre, mujer. Y cuando las tengo en categorías es más fácil de recordarlas, ¿ok? For example, puede ser que confunda, no sé cuál es para niño o cuál es para niña, niece y nephew. I don't remember, teacher, porque son de las que casi no utilizamos y que no nos da una idea clara si es para mujer o para hombre, niece y nephew. You know, aunt and uncle. También esta es otra que se puede llegar a confundir porque no hay nada que me indique que si es para mujer o para hombre, ¿ok? Aunt and uncle. That's it. Las demás creo que sí son claras porque las usamos más seguido. So, questions about this class, the vocabulary that we have for today. If we don't have questions, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to have an activity. I need you to have a picture of your family. Mañana todos una picture de su familia, no importa si es en el teléfono. Si la pueden tener en la compu, mucho mejor. Because you are going to talk about your family. Similar to the conversation that we had today, you are going to make a short presentation. Como en la conversación que hicimos ahora, que dijimos, ah, she is my sister, she works in the government in a private um, project. My brother, he's a wildlife photographer. My parents, They live in Texas, in a small city called Austin. Información como es, ¿ok? Mañana nos vamos a enfocar en hablar de la familia. Comentarios, preguntas del vocabulario, si no, pues vamos a estar libres de poder irnos ya, ¿ok? Thank you so much, class, for coming to this class. Thank you. We are going to see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Have a great tomorrow. afternoon, class. See you. Have a great teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.